Greetings from Indiana. My name is Jake. My last name's a little hard to pronounce, so most people just call me the video guy. I'm a freelance videographer that was hired by the Midwest Regional Speleological Association based here in Bloomington, Indiana. And I was hired to shoot a documentary of Widow Cave. Our group today will include a, a trip leader, a paleontologist, a geologist, and myself to shoot the video. A little tidbit about this cave, the only known living person who has visited this cave is known as Grandpa Joe. So a little bit about Widow Cave, also known as Howling Cave. It is located in southeastern Indiana. In fact, the cave is only five miles from Potoka Lake, which I think is close to Paoli. Uh, I don't know exactly who named the cave, but it, it is not well known in the local area, nor by the caving clubs. Now, Grandpa Joe said it has never been surveyed, but there are miles of underground passages, some of which can be very confusing to navigate. Now, he remembers finding remnants of uh, fossils, skeletons, and geological curiosities, which is why we're bringing along a paleontologist and a geologist. Uh, Grandpa Joe also mentioned a darker side of the Widow Cave lore, where some cavers were thought to go in, but to never come out. Now, I, I attribute this to, you know, property owners passing some uh, rumors along to help keep the riffraff uh, and un... And un uh, savory people out of the cave from trashing it so I'm not too worried about that so without further ado let's meet our two scientists and our trip leader hi I am dr. Ali Duda I just recently graduated with a geology degree from University of Indiana and I'm very excited thank you Midwest for allowing us to take um, a research trip here in this a widow cave, which is what I um, formerly knew it as. Um, there's some other names, I think, but I'm very excited to be part of this um, crew uh, with some with some another great paleontologist from from the area. I'm very excited. Thank you. Yeah, hello. I am Dr. Schnaufenfutter. Uh, I uh, am a paleontologist from uh, the University of uh, Stuttgart, and I have been brought here. Uh, from Midwest, thank you very much. And um, I am here with uh, uh, the esteemed Dr. Duda and uh, Bobby Durango. Uh, we leave our lives and our hands in his competent care. Uh, but uh, uh, we are here to explore this cave and uh, I am looking very forward to it. Hello, I'm Bobby Durango. I'm the cave leader today. I've been hired to show these fine folks through my Grandpa Joe's cave. And if anybody knows how to do it, it's me. I know this cave. My grandpa's told me all about it, so you don't have to worry about anything. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Okay, yes. let's do this. Uh -huh. This is it. This is it, folks. Oh. I found it. It's right here. I told oh. you it's right where I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Grandpa Joe said this is where it's going to be and this is where it's at. Okay? Mm -hmm. So everything is okay. Thank you. That right here is what you call the cave entrance. This is oh. where we enter the cave. All right? Okay. Uh, excellent. It, it, it is as good as that it had not moved. You may want to turn on your lights because it's a little bit dark down here, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, do you see this new bag? I oh, borrowed. that is very sleek. I borrowed it from a real caver. Oh, excellent, excellent. Are you sure this is the right one? Oh, absolutely. You follow me. I know right where I'm at. I swear we have been through this place before, but we are the expert. Hey, what do you got there, Dr. Uh, Pimple Popper? Uh, it is Dr. Schnauf. Oh, oh, what's up? Sorry, sorry. Now, 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 Booby, I think you are trying to actually make it difficult. What, that, oh. Why are you constantly mispronouncing oh, my no, name? No, it is Schnauf and Footer Booby. My fault, my fault, Dr. Schnauf. 
Schnaufen Fruker. Schnaufen Schnaufen Fruter. I will accept ah. that. that is, I will accept that, booby. What we have here is a fine example of Rattus elephantus. Uh, it, uh, carbon dating puts it squarely in the Chalcolithic period. Um, uh, modern rats descended from this creature right oh. here. Uh, it had exceptional hearing and eyesight uh, uh, and, and made its way through the caves much like modern bats by squeaking and these very large ears were able to pick it up. Uh, primarily, uh, most of the time, uh, uh, ears are cartilaginous in, in nature, right? And, and so, but here we have a bony structure indicating a very large ear. Um, uh, this was a, a evolutionary double edge, however, uh, uh, while it gave the rats exceptional hearing and could hear uh, predators from a very, very long distance away, its dumpo-like ears would cover its face and it could not see the escape route and it would tumble over its own ears. Oh. It, it, uh, it did not last long, evolutionary. Oh, it's fascinating. So what did you find, Doctor? Ah, well, this is, this is a Squirrachium Eatsnaticus. This is a common squirrel. Uh, and uh, carbon dating puts it at the uh, current time. So this poor bastard probably just got washed in uh, on one of the heavy rains. However, he did die happy. From what I can see, yes, he had a full belly uh, and his favorite food. So all is good. Oh, me oh. oh, ho, ho, shit! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! What, what the hell is that? Oh, my goodness. Dr. Hoser Schnitzel, do you recognize uh, this? A Schnaufenfutter, a, a Schnaufenfutter. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um. Hmm. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, well, at least he died with a beer in his hand. Dr. Schnickeldoodle, do you uh, think... Uh, 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 Schnaufenfutter, Schnaufenfutter. Schnaufen... Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, do you think you could test your equipment? This would be a great time. This, this would be an excellent time to test, test my gear. Yes, 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 yes. This is a new a piece of equipment. When do you think he died? Uh, according to this, it's uh, uh, 1992. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's a note here. There's a chance it could be oh. his family member. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Why don't you uh, read oh. that and see that? I'll read that for you. I'll read that for you. Yeah, it looks like his last note. It's dated November 14th, 1992. Oh, excellent. My gear is working accurately. Hello, my name is Chuck Watson from Paoli. If you are reading this, I am dead. Wow, well, that's a oh, second tonight. Yeah, I'll yeah. go ahead. I found this cave while I was deer hunting last winter. I hadn't heard of a cave in this area, so I came back to explore it this year. This turned out to be a long cave. I've been in here for over seven hours. And now the only thing... Wait a minute. And I'm completely lost. My light batteries are about dead, and I wanted to write this letter so folks would know what happened to me. Hmm. I would say I did two things wrong and one thing right. I went caving solo, which is a big no-no. I didn't tell anyone where I was going, mistake number two. The only thing I did do right was to pack in a beer. Oh, good man, good man. Good man. Anyways, that's my story. When you get back into town, have a beer in my honor. Signed, Chuck. That's I can do. You shall do that, Chuck. Rest in peace. Uh, hey, Doc, hey, Doc Hassenpfeffer, does, does uh, that... Uh, Schnaufenfutter? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, does that uh, carbon dating thing work on real people? Uh, uh yes, yeah, yeah, I, I believe it does. Let me, um, let me check here. Okay, it says that you are 46 years old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, mentally, uh, that of a child. <laughs> oh, oh, I have a bit with you. Oh. I, I make one. Oh. <laughs>
quite spectacular. Oh, Follow me. And, 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 I know exactly where I'm at. Quite tight. It is difficult to maneuver. Let's do this. Stop. Really tight. Dr. Duda. Yes. What can you tell us about that rock right there? So this rock right here is limestone. Oh. And yes, yes. Um, as is um, the entire cave actually. So what why it's so smooth is a lot of water will flow through the cracks and down and it leaves a deposit of more limestone. But one thing that Dr. Frankenfurter, if you could Watch take a, oh yes, um, if you could take a peek right around here, there's some very unusual scratches and claw marks right here. Hmm, fascinating. Follow me. I, I think I know where we're at. You've been saying that for hours. No, no, no. This this looks familiar. And Grandpa Joe not... told me all about this cave. I think I know where we're at. Oh my God! I think you're lost. I think you're alive. No, no, no. Ah! Oh my god, Dr. Frankenfurter, get over here! Schnaufenfutter! What is it? Oh my, this is most fascinating. The structure of the pelvis, it is displaying both android and gynecoid characteristics. Notice the overall shape of the pelvic girdle, which would indicate that of a male. Uh, but here, the, the inlet is markedly wider, broader, and more oval. Also, along the uh, with the uh, shortest sacrum, uh, which would favor the female structure. Couple this with the complete lack of ischial splines and uh, uh, mislocation of the subpubic arch tells me this is not a human skeleton. Professor Dumbledore! Schnaufenfutter! How old was this alien? Well, uh, uh, using transition analysis and, and, and Bayesian statistics, I can say with confidence that this Alien was at least 200 years old at the time of its death. D Dr. Pimple Popper, what does all this mean? What it means is that this person died giving birth, and it was a violent birth at that. The, the greatly increased abdominal cavity facilitated by only having eight instead of the normal 12 ribs was the clue. It allows for a larger, more fully formed child to be produced, and, it, and since it couldn't fit through the pelvic girdle, it ate its way out of the womb. See these gnaw marks on the ischial crests? It then fed on its parents' remains like a chick feeds on its yolk sac until it is, has gained enough strength and self-sufficiency. There is a good likelihood that this creature still uses this cave as its lair. What an amazing discovery. What is it? This is a vampire bat. Believe it or not, this is a distant relative of the vampire bats found in Central and South America. How old is it? Uh, could you hand me the carbon data? Yes. Yes. Thank you. It says it comes from the Neolithic period. Based on my research, I believed these to be in the area, but I had no evidence to substantiate my theory until now. So is it true? Did they eat blood? Blood, yes. Blood was the main source of food. That it is correct. Like all bats, they would leave the sanctuary of the cave to feed at night. Yeah, they are reported to have significant flying abilities, sometimes flying up to 250 miles per hour. That would be 320 in kilometers. We're not sure why they disappeared from this area, but uh, could have been climate change, some type of fungus, uh, we are not sure. We may never know, but this find is remarkable. Hey, uh, <clears throat> hey Doc, this looks like a pretty cool slab of rock. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yes, actually, uh, Midwest Regional Speleological Association was very interested in how the rock was formed in this area. So, uh, great question. Um, one thing, this land was covered in oceans and animals and plants, 
and how you can really tell uh, how old the rock is, is just like the rings on a tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count each uh, ring as you might uh, uh, know when you think about rings on a tree to tell me how many years ago this rock was laid. So we've got one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Two hours later. 498 Mississippi, 499 Mississippi, 500 Mississippi, 501 Mississippi. So ready or not, this is 501 million years old. So that is how you determine the age of a rock, just by counting the bands. Uh, Mr. Durango. Yeah. Check, come here and check this out. What you got? This, this is amazing. This is actually, so this rock was formed during the Jurassic period, um, probably when Jurassic Park was being oh. filmed. Uh, this is actually an imprint of a dinosaur skin. Is that right? Yes, like <laughs> fossilized imprint of their skin. Very scale-like. This is amazing. Get, get a closer oh, look if you can. Take a look at that, yeah. That, that, just check out this area. Look. Oh boy, oh boy. Wow, that is really something. Oh. So this is an actual bear wallow. Uh, you are currently standing inside what an ancient cave bear dug out during winter to hibernate. In fact, behind you is uh, what is commonly known as a bear apple that is petrified bear poop. Oh! Quite interesting, yes. It is poorly understood why the cave bear uh, uh, no longer inhabits these caves. They used to be the primary predator of the area, but something usurped them. So we are not quite sure what that was. Hmm. Come on, doctors. This way. All right. Uh, this has been a fascinating trip. Uh, think up here to the left. Go a little bit deeper into this thing. All right. Hey, all right follow do, me. Do you guys uh, smell anything? Um. It smells like wet animal or something. Do you guys smell that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, this is just typical off-gassing of the coral fossils. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys behind me still? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go a little bit deeper here. Okay. Just stay with me. I'm not sure what's around the corner. Wait, you're not sure? Yeah. Oh. What's that? That's not a good sign, man. Ah, uh, that, that, that does not put me at ease. I haven't been at ease the last six hours. Ah, uh, I miss you on that. Watch your head. Get low. This becomes more and more difficult. I'm not sure I signed up for this. Uh, Ruby, I do believe that we have a problem. What's this? What? what? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. Oh I'm done. Oh, oh my god. Most unexpected. The hell is this? What is this? Okay, you guys, I, I, I'm done. I'm done, you guys. Uh, it, I, I believe you are right. We should leave. However, this is most extraordinary. Let me uh, uh, take a, uh, a quick sample here. Um, well, it, it says that this is only about a hundred years old. It puts it, uh, it post-dates it to the alien skeletons that we found. The uh, cranial structure is extremely similar. However, the elongation of the jawline and the fangs make me believe that this could possibly be a cave adaptation, uh, uh, genetically having changed the very nature of the beast. Doctor, right about those rocks around the skull, that doesn't seem natural. So, uh, I believe you are right. This looks more like an altar instead of 
uh, instead of natural formation. Oh, I do believe that this could possibly be the offspring of what we found earlier. I'm done. Oh, Bobby, oh, we're Bobby. here. We Bobby, can come on. Let us leave. Bobby, Let us leave. Bobby. we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. 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 Twenty minutes later. This way. Hey, you said that for quite a while. Are you sure? Because this looks oh, exactly yeah. like where they were. I must admit, this looks very familiar. Are you sure? Yes. I'm near certain. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. If you think I'm getting you lost, let's build, let's put a pile of rock here. And if we ever come by this again, we'll know we messed up. That's okay. a good idea. That's idea. a good idea. Mark the passage. Let's see, here's some rocks. Ah, uh, yeah. Right, right here? Yeah, just you put those up right there. That'll be a marker for us. How's that? Okay. Okay, now let's go. All right. Now where I'm going. Yeah. One hour later. Okay, I think we're getting close. You say close to what? Two oh. oh my god! Oh, the hell? This? No! This is the cairn you built. That's a different rock pile. I know what you're talking about. I know where I'm at. Booby, yeah. is it possible that you have absolutely no clue what you are doing? Yeah, I guess it's a little bit possible. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I just can't. Man, we're I in just can't in this cave anymore. Gotta be way out of here. I think I think I've seen the way. It's right up here. I think this is it. You've said that a hundred times. Trust me. Well, this way is that the entrance. Follow me. I'm following. I just want to get out of here. Get hey, Dr. Brockman, Newman. Schnaufen Futter. Uh, whatever. Uh, there's a bear follow. Just check it out real quick before we leave. Dara, let me get out of your way. Dr. Schnaufenfooter, right? be careful down there. Those rocks look a little loose now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's move ahead. I'm moving. By a rock. Oh, I did hear something. Oh, my God. oh God. Oh, it doesn't look good. Come here, hurry, guys. Oh. What happened? What happened? A big rock oh. fell on the dock. Oh, I told you. Oh, my I told God. You. Oh, my God. I did. You pulled. It doesn't look good. I don't, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I think he's stuck. I think he's going. I think he's going. No. Um, uh, stay right there. Um, we're going to call for help. Don't move. Don't move. Let's go. We'll, we'll be back. Bobby, we'll be back. Go. Stay right there. Go, 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 go. go. Let's go. Up to Doodah, I need to be real careful in this area. There's pits everywhere. Holes. Okay. Bottomless holes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. First, Dr. Hasselhoff, and now Bobby Durango, our trip leader. We are so screwed. How are we going to get out of this cave? I don't know. All I know is we've got to get out. Video log. Uh, 11 hours, 4 minutes. What a disastrous trip. The German paleontologist has been crushed by a rock. Our trip leader has fallen into a bottomless pit. And now it's down to me and Dr. Dudal. 
We have no clue on where we're at in this cave. We're just trying to backtrack our, our steps. And worse yet, I think something is following us. So Doc, um, I'm gonna go down this passage here and see where it goes. Maybe it's a way out. Uh, I'll just go a little bit. So uh, I'll give you this GoPro camera uh, to hold for me. And you know, the video light, you can still use it. But I'll be back in a, a few minutes. I just wanna explore down here and see where it goes. And I'll be right back. I had to, oh, there's a light, okay. I've never used one of these before. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Don't go far, okay? Okay, I will. I still want to be able to hear you. Oh, God. All right. So I guess it's just me for right now. Do, 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 do. Um, hey, video guy, can you still hear me? Hey, video guy? Oh my God, what was his name? Uh, hey, uh, hello? Hello? No, 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 no. No, I, uh, oh my God, I gotta get out of here. I gotta, oh my God. I gotta get out of here. Hello, anybody? So I guess um, it's been about two hours. My uh, headlamp went out. No sign of it. No sign of the video guy. I haven't heard a thing. I'm really trying to hold it together. Um, so maybe this should be like like the letter we found earlier with um, the guy from 1992. So he was only in there for seven hours and it's probably been like maybe like 12 hours that we've been in here. And um, mom, dad, I love you. <laughs> Make sure you uh, take care of my dogs for me. And sisters, I love you guys too. I just don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. I've gone down every path and this stupid camera lamp's all I have left. So, I love you guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> doctor, doctor.